Hi everyone to my uh, Assembly language tutorial. Now we are talking about uh, the Hello World program. Now um, we are taking a little long for this Hello World because you know in Assembly a Hello World or an shorting they they are quite the same because they all have instructions and that's all you have in assembly so once you get hold of this hello world's uh, one single program you can have a nice idea of the how much more complex programs they look so let's continue our tutorial on our hello world now in assembly as you can see we are providing so many constant values now here you can see four here you can see one and a uh, hundred eighty then a uh, h what it means I don't let me tell you what it is and then uh, hello world and zero x so we are using so many type of constant symbols so we should uh, learn what they are and how to write them and what are the rules so let me show you a slide here we have for the constants now it's, it's very often we provide uh, constant values with the instructions now in general programming languages what we do we call printf uh, we call uh, scanf or whatever else you like to but in assembly the world is little different because um, there computer only understand numbers so if you say move ex4 you are actually calling the printf function so the computer uh, as we're talking with the computer so the 4 means printf so as you can see so if you have to call some functions and the system you have to call it by the numbers so let's uh, let's show you again the assembly program yes oh, oh sorry mm -mm, let me take you take that yes we have it again so you can see uh, we have we are using constant values now there are several ways you can represent or you can you have to write um, constant values one of them is our decimal that we are learning from our standard one and uh, till now too so they can be integers or they can be floating point numbers now remember handling floating point numbers is assembly uh, it's, it's, it's a good challenge and it's a nice thing uh, and then we have hex hex values means they have 16 at their base so in number in hex you will get 0 to 9 then a b c d e and then f in total 16 0 to f and you write the hex codes as a constant by a 0 a c followed by a small h or a capital h so the hex number the two digit hex number or a three digit hex number followed by an h hmm, to represent an hex now that h can be uh, in uh, caps or in small letters and another option you have that in which way we used to represent hexadecimal values in c that is by 0x then the assembly similarly we write octal too in this case we use uh, q or o both with small and uh, big letters now remember octal have 8 at the base so the available digits you have that is 0 to 7 so 10 in octal means 8 in decimal now uh, there is our familiary you know very familiar binary values 1 and zeros <laughs> only two digits you have and you represent them using uh, B uh, the bit pattern means 0 1 1 1 0 whatever else followed by a B small B or a big B and if you find uncomfortable with uh, uh, writing a uh, huge array of uh, binary numbers you can use a uh, uh, underscore sign for this purpose uh, but don't give a space it will produce an error so this is how you provide binary numbers and uh, I have forgot to written here strings you can include strings with double quotes or single quotes so let's see in our code what we have we have constant values see these are the decimals so they are root and plain and simple 4 and 1 and we have some hex values for our interrupt so we written 80h or it might just went uh, big h too and here you are getting some 
uh, string that is the hello world string and we written using this uh, double quotes well you can use single quote but uh, I prefer this thing and we use the hexadecimal code now why I have used here in the string because of this represents the new line 0a a represents for the new line so these are the constants so you use every type of number system that we are familiar with and the computer is familiar with hexadecimal octal decimal and binary so this is it for this tutorial and you can see the other ones in my channel so uh, stick on for the next movie uh, I have something more about assembly